YouTube. This your man Spill Dog. You know, uh, Keyshawn Davis and Shakur, they always say they not going to never fight each other, right? But I was thinking about something, you know, I, and I like both fighters. Let's, let's keep, now, Shakur was my favorite in the smaller divisions when he first came pro before Tank was. Let me be clear. Uh, now, Tank is the man I truly believe. Floyd moved Tank the right way. I've said a thousand times he had the, he has been built up the right way. He's had the right fights. He ready for anything at that division. I don't care who you bring in there. At one thirty five, they gonna have major issues with Tank. I don't think nobody gonna beat him in that division. But just say for instance, now Keisha keep calling out uh, Tank all of a sudden. What if Tank was just, you know what, let me go ahead and fight this young boy. Uh, that would cause major problems between him and Shakur Stevens. Because Shakur Stevens would feel like, one, that's his big fight. Two, if anybody deserved that fight, it's him. And I don't even know how crazy Shakur is about hearing uh, uh Keyshawn keep calling him out like this because just like Crawford said, Shakur deserved to fight first, but as we know in boxing, it ain't always what you deserve is what you get. And Bob Arum had a different affection for Keyshawn than he did for Shakur and uh, and Terrence Crawford. He really wanted Keyshawn for a long time, even when he was in the amateurs. So, Bob will move the needle for Keyshawn if, just say for instance, like I said, that's why I say Keyshawn might need to pump his brakes because right now, that would be a much, Keyshawn would be a lot more proud for Tank three or four fights from now than he would right now. I think Keyshawn is the truth. I think Keyshawn is going to be a big star in the sport one day like Tank and some of these other dudes are. But at this particular time, if Tank took that fight right now, he'd have all the advantages. Experience, power, speed. You know, uh, like I say, uh, the only thing that would be somewhat in Keyshawn's favor would be youth. That's about it. You know, and I think Keyshawn is the truth. So, just in case he hit, I don't want him to think this ain't no diss. But, uh, in a sense, he's setting the table for him and the Shakur to fight somewhere down the line. Because, once again, just say, for, just say after the Lamont Roach fight, if everything go the way it's supposed to pertain, he ain't got nobody to fight. Uh, or nobody... That the, that the fans want to see him fight. And he decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and get his young boy a fight. You know who's going to be pissed off about that? Shakur Stevenson. You know who friendship of, of being a bad place behind that? Shakur Stevenson and Keyshawn Davis. I, I, I'm sure him and Shakur are friends, but... I think Keyshawn loyalty is going to be more to his brothers than anybody else. And they got their little brand and all that that they start. So, you know, I've heard this before out of fighters. We'll never fight. We friends. That shit don't never last in the sport right here because, one, the money. Two, jealousy. You know, it's almost like with these rappers and stuff like that, you know, uh, that camera and that money and dudes start shining and really feeling themselves. You know, when a guy beneath you, which Keyshawn is beneath Shakur, beneath uh, Tank, they kind of got to play they, they got to play their role. They really do. They got to play their role, you know, but what happened when they think they ain't beneath you no more? What happened when they feel like they better than you? It's going to happen. You know, I'm not saying it's going to happen and they're going to fight, but Keyshawn feeling himself now. <laughs> you know, in my mind, Keyshawn should be trying to fight Kid Austin or 
uh, it's you know, uh, it's it's some Frank Martin. It's dudes right up on the tank that he really need to fight before he was to take a fight like that. Uh, whoever that guy is, his name start with uh, his last name start with a B. Who got the belt? Who they talking about him fight for a title? It's it's a it's a lot of other fights out there outside the tank fight. That good fights for Keyshawn that will truly have him ready if that time ever came. But he it looked like he want to jump the line and go straight from the uh from the kiddie pool to the to the ten feet. And you never know. Like I said, lucky uh Tank got Lamar Roach. What if Tank ain't got nobody to fight? He talking like this, and he know this guy young, inexperienced, and untested. What if he go ahead and pick up the phone, run it? Let's go. Not only will Keyshawn probably lose and be in a, a major disadvantage, that will start some serious friction between him and Shakur Stevenson. Shakur feel like you jumped the line, you took my fight, and that'll be the that 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 that'll be that'll be the start of that wedge. You remember uh, Tank and AB was the best of friends, and then you heard Tank wanting to fight AB. It happens, you know. Uh, it happens all the time, especially in a sport like this, where it's money, fame. You know, it's a lot of stuff come with this, and you know, uh, when when dudes want to be on top, sometimes, uh, like I say, when when you Keyshawn was playing his position, getting experience fighting, you know, sparring with Shakur, that's that's the best experience in the world. But and he know Tank should be fighting Shakur next. You think that's stopping him from calling the Tank out? Not even a little bit. He said he don't want nobody else but Tank. So you try to take Shakur fight. If that was to happen, that's gonna be the end of that friendship. That's the, I mean, cause now you know took food off his off his plate. You know, Andy Cruz. It's other fights for Keyshawn out there. It really is good fights too. Fights that he really need to, to take before he was to have a fight like that. But hey, he feeling himself, you know. And uh, I just noticed how Shakur and Bud were standing over there when the, when the announcers was talking to Bud about uh, about him fighting Tank, and Shakur was just kind of not trying to act like he was ignoring the conversation. And then Bud was like. Uh, Shakur get the fight first, but don't make that decision. It would be nice if he did, but it ain't up to Bud. It's up to Tank. What if Tank? Tank might do it just to start something. He seen what I saw. I'm sure he did. And so, like I say, man, uh, that 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 talk about Shakur and, and Keyshawn not fighting. That might be more Shakur than Keyshawn. I think Keyshawn is saying it now because he playing his position, but just the way that he keep calling out Tank, knowing that's a Shakur big fight. You think that's you think he give a shit about that? He ain't acting like it. And if he was to get that fight before Shakur, that, that's going to cause a major rift in that friendship. So I will go along with that for another, for a little bit longer, but in my mind, if somehow he get the tank fight and Shakur don't, Shakur will be calling him out. I, I really believe that. I really do. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. To the next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.